Wow, that's massive. Don't say that. Jesus Christ. Let's get all the bricks moved that we haven't used. You can't leave them on the pavement overnight. I just put the profile straight on the wall next time we come back, which makes things a lot easier. Stuff's been delivered by Fairwoods. There's the blues, there's the blocks, sands behind the bricks. Well, I hope you can hear me. It's now right, quarter to 12. We've lost half a day because of um, my pre op, which I feel like hasn't really got me much further. No x ray, no scan, just gone over what we've already done. Found out my last bit was 27th of July, so that's six months nearly. So, who knows what's going on. So, we're back. Stuff's been delivered by Fairwoods. There's the blues, there's the blocks, sands behind the bricks. Everything's bone dry. Alex uncovered everything. We're going to start loading out. He's got all, a lot of the crap bits have been sorted into one pile, so we've got, we're going to put them on the bottom, of course. Sorry about the wind. And um, we're going to get the, the blocks in, a couple of course of bricks, see where it, where it takes us till, we go dark, till it goes dark. Um, yeah, that's the plan. So there you go. We haven't got enough spot boards, so that's another thing we're going to have to rectify later. Bring some more back. But it's all about getting set out ready today. Get the bottom, get the block down. Get ourselves sorted. We're going to put all the boards out, cover all the pavement up, and crack on. So, uh, as usual, we'll put it on time, that's what we're doing this bit. Right, we're in position now and get a bit done. We've sorted through the beds, picked out as many of the chip ones as we can. Well, you've probably seen the accident on Instagram and on YouTube. Uh, I've got a few scratches, but I'm alright. I'm trying to hold you out the wind. Um, so, the stacks on edge, the, the chip ones, the other stacks are the good ones. The blocks are ready, so it's a course of block bracket through. So we're set up now, mix is in, brought our trademark, should trademark this, our instant corners, stretch it up at each end, and put it on edge, so it's, it's the exact width of the wall, 215, so we've just got a corner block on either side and run, run it through course to course, course. I don't like running in the full side and the other full side, but it's 9 inch height of course to cut, course of the time, so um, yeah, we're ready to go, I'll slow the boards out. The lines up, we just need to get it in position, check the levels of the laser, crack on. So I'm going to stick the laser on top of the block now and see how we're doing, see which is our highest point and work from that.
There we go. All well set up. Switch that off. Place it back on. Make sure I've that is look so useful that. Fantastic. We use that for everything now. Just hoping to get uh, the, the 360 one with the 360 laser on it. So there you have it, we're set out. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 and a half block long. So that's 35 bricks, so 70 bricks, about it, 72 brick per course. So we've got plenty of bricks. That's good. And if you see at this end, there's our brick edge for the top, which I'm hoping is enough. 35 times 3. Yeah, we only need 90 for the top. 90 ish, so we've already got one snap, so hopefully we've got plenty of spurs, plenty of good ones. The um, pillar's been cut out like this so that we can get an armoured cable up inside. So this isn't going to be um, this isn't going to be uh, concreted or built solid, it's going to be built hollow because um, there's a brick light going about three quarters of the way up the pillar. Custom wanted that, so that's that. Uh, the other end is solid because nothing's been mentioned about brick lights down that end, um, and that's it. It's all level, it's all done to the laser, it's all straight. So, we've got plenty in the mix. We're gonna have a quick dinner, because it's half past one. But, um, yeah, that's it. And then once we, uh, as I showed you before, these rascals have been, these have been invaluable for nine inch walls, especially on the brick and edge, because you put your line on both sides. And uh, we've got four cores we to get on the trench box before we need profiles on them. So um, we probably won't need the profiles today, we'll just get set up, get all our band worked out, get a few course running. But tomorrow we'll whack those profiles on there in a way. Just have to make sure the custom doesn't reverse into the block. Have to make sure he knows. Um, so yeah, we'll make some dinner. Oh, 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 oh,
okay we're just going to use that mix up now as it's getting on a bit we've done the mixing now we're going to work into the dark so we're not doing that it's uh 25 to 4 now gives us a chance to use all that get it all pointed up covered up get all the bits moved that we haven't used you can't leave them on the pavement overnight so there's plenty to do yet stacks are getting smaller so we've got less to cover up so we can start pinching plastic to put on the wall and use the boards to cover the bricks if we don't need all thank you Al the, board, the wall is that low just pull the boards onto the wall and then we can't have them no. well we cut that end we're not not really because we've got enough mortar to reach over there I reckon alright anyway there you go that's that's our level our bond our everything so just uh, rinse and repeat now I'm going to try and get these corners up with another course on each end and if I can do that tonight we can get rid of the trench block and just put the profile straight on the wall next time we come back which makes things a lot easier so that's the plan anyway should get that done easy um, but yeah new battery in so back on time lots and let's crack on Here we go. Not awful from a flat start. Oh. What? Here we go. Not awful from a flat start. Got the what? Here we go. Not awful from a flat start at least. Got the levels set out, got the blocks put in. We've got enough bricks on to take these down. So now when we come back, whenever that is, we can just get profiles up now so these trench blocks are out of the way. Just get that mortar thrown in the skip. But yeah. Obviously I think Dad's mentioned we're gonna move these bricks and get them fully on the wall and covered up just so um they aren't obstacles for pedestrians. So, I think that's it, yep. We'll get that all sorted and then we'll be on our way. Hopefully it won't be too dark. The moon's already out. So we will see you whenever it is. See you then. Oh, it's been a very windy Friday. I've got the, uh, the muffler on and it's 7.37, 20 to 
26th of January. This is how we left it. So, first job is to flip the boards back over to protect the pavement. There's plenty of room for pedestrians to get past and I've left the van on the road so they're not walking into the road. Um, yeah, we're just going to hit it today, hit it hard. Get the, uh, get the bulk of it up today. See what happens tomorrow. Alex is away at his mates tomorrow. So, um, we'll have to see what happens. There's not a lot to do, I'll come in on my own if I can get it done in the day. But it all, it all depends on how we get on today. Boards out, loaded out, mix on. So, catch you in a bit. Windy. It's cold. I'm going to just um, empty this bar and stack these up. Dad's going to get a mix in. And I think he's also going to get the profiles off. There we go. So I'll just keep loading out while he gets sorted. I'm going to keep you down in case the wind stops me audio. We'll get you back on time lapse and we'll catch you in a bit. Right, so. Yeah, one sec. Found the mic, so hopefully you'll be able to hear me now. So, when you're getting your header bricks for the header course, there's two things you want to take into account. First one, obviously, being if the faces are good, and second is the size. And what I mean by that is, obviously, especially with engineering brick, you've got all different sizes, so you want to make sure that the 215 and that both faces are good. This see this one's not really ideal, so that one goes into the stretcher pile. So you just check again. You check for 215 so that there's no bumps or dints in the header course, because if it's all different sizes, one side it's gonna be really it's gonna be really ugly. So 215. And those pretty nice faces. So that goes into header pile. So, summary is, when you're doing your header courses, check for the size, that they're all 215, and that they have nice faces. We're not doing stretcher bond. I mean, said that wrong. Stupid check then. We're not doing a English yard and wall bond now. So, still take my advice, but we're not doing it this time.
there we go. Profiles are up. With the old Fitch bricks. I don't know what the actual name is for them. I'm going to have to um, message Rich and see what he calls them. But they're, they're amazing anyway. So we're, we're getting somewhere now. Slowly. Just just slowly because I can't get down there and get... I should have had double that done but I just... Up to now I've been on my cushion on my knees. But it's starting to get to a comfortable height now. So it's starting to speed up a little bit now. Which is good. The weather's brilliant. Apart from being a bit chilly wind but... Um, so yeah, we're all set up, profile each end as you can see. Alex just getting the jointing done up to now. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We're five mil out of level. I've just checked with the laser so we can soon fix that. We're going to pick up a touch each end there. Let's get as much as we can done today. We'll probably use what's on the boards and have some dinner. Nice short dinner and then crack on straight after. We're uh, filming at the moment. Let's get some actual footage for a bit.
wanted to make a disclaimer before um, I let you interrupt this for a disclaimer. There's a constant how is in.
can see that. Jesus Christ. Well, as the motor's wrapping up, we're, uh, it looks like a wall now. So that's a nice little dint in the progress today. Obviously, I've still got the rest of the joints in, there's bunch of them to do. That's got a bit more to lift over this side, so we're going to try and get the pillars up as high as we can. Because um, we're actually near the top, I think. I think after this course, it's over sailors, then the um, brick and edge. Not bad, but um, I'm not here tomorrow, so I, don't know, I think Dad said he might be coming in if the weather's nice. So he'll be with him next if he's here. But um, yeah, just get all this moved up, get everything covered up again just in case. And uh, Feel free to say to me in the comments. Not a team player. Oh, heaven forbid I've got a social life. No, I'd one of them in years. Yeah, so I'll, t I'll let you go on time lapse for the rest of this, and then we'll probably see you in the next day. Yeah, the next instalment. Yeah, which should be the end.